Thanks for tuning in. This is a follow-up video from the one I previously introduced. The sweep wings flinch and the build that I was doing decided I didn't want to do a traditional wing. So 3D printed these mounts. For those that have asked, these are 1100 kV Luminaire motors. I'll put some, I believe, Gropner 8x5s on there when we get ready. But this is going to be what I referred to in the previous video as a tilt wing because it's going to take off vertically and then tilt forward to transition into forward flight but if you read a lot of documentation that is not the proper term so I'm going to refer to this as they do uh, on the pixhawk.org site and APM wiki it this is known as the tail sitter so it's going to sit on its tail I'll show you that in a minute and I think I have the CG pretty good electronics all installed. I decided because of so much feedback from you guys and several of my APM buddies that I was going to do Ardu Pilot. I actually did not know that Ardu Pilot supported uh, VTOL tail sitters. So that's good. The firmware is loaded. I'm going to show you a couple things that I've learned and then in the next video we'll do a maiden flight. Once this is all said and done, I get everything tuned and working well, I'm going to do a series that shows all the ins and outs, the configuration parameters, uh, tuning all of the stuff that I've learned so far, but let me just demonstrate a few high-level things So we have it connected to mission planner with the 3dr radios and right now I have it set up in manual mode and the reason I do is you want to configure this as a Traditional wing with elevons before you go into a VTOL setup. I've loaded APM plane onto Pixhawk configured my elevons and I'm just going to show you that when I roll right See that right elevon go up and that left one go down and vice versa when I go left when I pitch back you can see those elevons go up which is what we want and when I pitch forward they go down so that's how you want to configure your control surfaces we're going to transition into Q hover mode now while I do that keep an eye on the heads up display in mission planner everything is a little bit wonky going crazy and what I'll do I'll transition using my flight mode switch now we're into Q stabilize I said Q hover but this is actually Q stabilize you can see that our horizon looks good and let's take a look at some of the features of this first thing I want to point out is in Q stabilize mode as I move the wing back and forth you can see that my control surfaces are moving to keep everything stabilized hopefully vertically level now, once again, I configured this as a wing, made sure my elevons were correct. So I'm assuming that all of these orientations and directions, which I'll learn more about later, are moving in the right direction. Now that I'm in Q stabilize mode, I'll go ahead and arm my safety switch. Okay, so we're good there. Then I'll go ahead and arm with the yaw to the right. Okay, so now we're armed. Let me just give it a little throttle so you can hear those motors go up. Now, I'm just going to leave throttle at about 25%, and I'm going to pick this up. And what you'll notice is I tilt each way. So I kind of roll to the right. My right motor spins up as I roll to the left. My left motor spins up and the right is completely stopped. So now we're level with both spinning. I'm going to go ahead and throttle down. And at the same time, as I'm just pitching this forward and back, those elevons are adjusting. So hopefully everything is ready to go for me to get out in the backyard and give this a maiden. I'm not going to do it in the garage as I've done many uh, builds in the past and maidens in the garage. I want to get outside where there's enough space just because I don't know what to expect. One last thing that I want to point out, a lot of these tail sitter builds that I've seen have larger control surfaces for bigger control authority. These are just standard elevons that come with the flint. So I'm assuming that's going to have an impact, but I'm going to see if I can at least hover we'll get that done then we'll work on transitioning into forward flight so all in all the setup's been pretty easy i know there's some fine tuning that needs to be done we'll get to that in an upcoming video if you guys have any questions or comments on what you've seen so far please post them below and in the next video we'll be doing the maiden thanks for watching